as calls of traders at Makola are assessing their losses after a three-story building housing their wares caught fire Monday. The fire is still yet to be fully contained more than 24 hours after it started. Yesterday, it took firefighters more than 10 hours to douse the raging flames now. Earlier this morning, some of the traders, traders were given access to salvage what they could from the building, but the fire reignited from the smoldering rubble, ravaging what was left in the building. Uh, Minister for Trade and Industry, Alan Martin, who visited the scene, announced that a relief package was being prepared for the victims. Manuel Kwanting returned to Makula today and now reports. Me na me wase ho. I me di me ka me se me kwa fire service. Ti me ba ni me share fire service for me no no mo ba o mu kuta hwe na me se ah. Na fire service for ya o mu be se se ka o mu de ka ba. E na me san me chi ti me san me chi na me kwa e fa mu o be bi a me me ti no me du ho no. Na ye no ma na wo ho ni nya ya se se ni nya ti me me gya hem kwa dia me no ma no me hu be bi agu ni nyina ayira. I feel me bad the dosh or the dosh or no no shop na wo suru ho pa no ba ku su wo infinfin ha ni nyina se eni ni ho se bibia se wan fa bibia wo te do do de no wo ka pa no wo ka ni esremo mo 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 de ani stores na wo ho ni nyina mo 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 de na mo mo awo o ta ma de ani start ye no o ma ma ye kwan se e bia because <laughs> Me to singlet, me to handkerchief, me to niama bosses, niama bodin. Ini biya ko mengele shikwa na kada da na jira biya taleko ko shikwa mengele jame. Femi no ni niama lo shife. Ni no ko femi na kanu shwe no. No ko femi bo na kanu shwe. Eh la pa ka jamu ene magbe wa jachu afa. E wa agune wa niya wa lo e wa boni ni ko ko son ni ni bo mi di mo ni me kanu ba shwe no biya biya fe. Ini biya ko mengele shikwa ngiye. We are here first to sympathize with the victims of this fire incident. This is the worst time for this to have happened, particularly at a time when our small businesses are just about recovering from the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. So it's very unfortunate that this should happen at this time. But be that as it may, we thank God that through the heroic efforts of the Ghana Fire Service, that for now they've been able to contain the fire. If this had spread to other buildings, I'm sure that the devastation would have been more serious. But I'm here also to sympathize with the victims and to assure them that government is committed and fully behind them. And we are going to take all the necessary steps to ensure that we support them to get them back into their trade. And so I've instructed the Ghana Enterprises Agency to very quickly develop a package of support for the victims um, of this uh, fire incident. Once we are able to identify the cause of uh, this fire incident, we will have, to, as a country, to reflect very soberly on our domestic retail market infrastructure. You know, this is not the first time that uh, we've gone through this incident. And already government have commissioned uh, an investigation, an exercise, and to try and find a permanent solution to this. So I'd like first to assure the victims that we are not going to leave them behind. <laughs> 